Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 53 quarterfinal match between Kill Bill Volume 2 and his humans and Napruha and his Skaven. Uh, Kill Bill won the toss and chose to kick to try give himself more of a chance to get rid of uh, you know, the gutter runners to limit the one turner, just players in general. But also the you know the gut runners there are. The gut runners is not the bit it's not the best core of gutter runners that you've ever seen. But there is a two heads gutter, there are two sidestep gutters. So, you know, it gives him 16 turns to get rid of those to stop the one turn. Um, or just grind down the Skaven in general. There's 13 Skaven. They do not have a wizard, they only have a babe. Um, instant removal. Yeah, the Skaven team is a pretty rubbish Skaven team, really, right? The, the gutters are unexciting. There is a Garda, but mostly normals. There's two heads of it. There was no stats, right? People like sexy stat gutters. They don't have them. They've got no claw. Got a claw attack. They've got a mighty tackle and a strength four mighty, but they don't have super exciting. No guard. Well, no guard on the storm vim, Only one guard on the gutter. So they've basically got not a lot of stuff. Um, but then the humans also don't have a lot, which is why they're not giving away a wizard. They've got loads of players. Um, got a Pommer, jump up tackle Pommer. I guess he's the number one player, right? The jump up tackle Pommer. And they do have kind of a bit of a crap gutter runner. Um, edge four, move eight sidestep. So, pretty nice. A pretty nice human catcher. You know, great killer. But very little guard. Uh, pretty poor human team all, all around, to be honest. I mean, they're still Skaven, right? Like, the Skaven are still here, right? They've still got good quarters. And yeah, they've got Dirty Player, which is always good. For just not playing Blood Bowl for a half and scoring you one turn. <laughs> but yeah, just, obviously Claw Piling on makes them way better. But even Claw would make them better, wouldn't it? Like not having any Claw just makes them pretty... pretty tragic. It's a pretty tragic... pretty tragic Skaven team. <laughs> Here we go, he's allowed a uh, gutter to be tackle pommed instantly. No reward. And this is why I like the rat dack is pretty good, right? Because rats can score, you know, pretty easily. But they're not the best at stalling it till turn 8. And if they do stall it till turn 8, they might expose gutters and stuff. Yes, Skaven. This yes, exactly. Skaven get the most broken things in the game. They they get, they get, all like you know, fantastic elves with their uh, their gutter runners are like some of the best elves you can get. They get uh, they get to benefit from blitz better than most teams. They get natural one turners, which this team doesn't have, and they have claw, which this team doesn't have. A bit like my team when I made my team and called them one turn claw and got neither. <laughs> um, and they can have those things that like claw pom, in fact, they can, have, they can have those things at quite low TV still. And you know, they can have add five and add six on their gutters, which is insane. And they can have all those things and be low TV and get wizards as well. They get the best wizards in the game, don't they? So, like, they just get. They get like all of the bit, like the, the swingiest things. Blitz, wizard, one turns, removals. They get the best of everything. They, they even get dirty play as well, so they can, they can, uh, they can like ignore the ball for a half and just foul. They just, they just get all of the most broken things in the game. They, <laughs> but he doesn't really have them on this team. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Really nice. Bomb, chain out for another mighty blow hit. That's not a mighty blow hit, but another hit. And gets a cast. Lovely. Yeah, not mighty blow, but another hit. No reward. 
<laughs> oh, but moves in with a, with a stand firm instant. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny how like, how good the sounds are in Blood Bowl 2. Especially when you compare how bad the sounds are in Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> I guess sound is one of the best things about Blood Bowl 3. It was a huge ton of stuns, wasn't it, for the skating last turn? You've just got to be careful about like getting disconnected and not being able to uh, stall here, but I mean, they should probably get hurt a little bit. It's so, so easy. <laughs> it's so easy to get forward. Yeah, to protect. Ooh, no, so I would, I would have protected the other gutters. <laughs> Big power in now. That's, that's completely reasonable. Oh, and then, so then that's why you you mark with this guy because that gives you the extra assist there. But I don't know. I still quite like getting, just getting in the way. But yeah, understandable. Go for big foul when you've got the chance. Very understandable. I survived getting 3D. <laughs> this is all <horse> shit. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuns. I mean, they were unlucky with that last stun, though, right? Because it could have been. It was an auto easy break, so. Could have easily been a KO plus. But they were lucky to have the chance because of all the stuns the previous turn. Yeah, got a 3D with Mighty here. Well, he doesn't actually. He could have blitzed with a tackler. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, it would be a GFI. Did you just score here? Is the cage here? Go over there. What's he gonna do? <laughs> the gutters can just get anywhere. Or you can go out. Oh, no, I can't. Could have done if you powered it. if just here was better and then you've got the guard whichever way he gets hit I it was to stop him it was to stop him right one two three four five six seven GFI GFI and he's got guard there so yeah that's why it was this side to stop the jump up tackle upon hitting the ball Tag there's pretty nice. Maybe we should have done that first. I quite like tagging out this uh, strength four guy with the wrestler as well. To be fair, like tagging a gutter is kind of pointless, right? You can spawn 36. But maybe tag the strength up guy. Even obviously taking a mighty goal hit isn't great. Oh, big Kaz! Sticks because. Napru heart. Oh no, no. Yeah, he's the Skaven. He's only got one apple. So that does stick. Which one is it? Oh my god. The game won't let me do anything. Oh, 
it sticks anyway. It wasn't as big, I thought it was a gutter for some reason. But the gutters are all obviously downfield. Our dog to the dog. Dublay ones, well there you go, it was worth basing a gutter runner. <laughs> and the strength four guy didn't really do anything. Oh, another Kaz. And the apple comes in there, I'm badly hurt. Getting to unmanageable levels for the rats of just removals, but no, no good player's gone really. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> oh, instant regret of appoing the dirty player. <laughs> I should have known better. Was that a wrestle kick, was it, that he thought about appoing? Wow. I mean, I didn't. I, to be fair, I said there hasn't been any damage yet, and there haven't been. So there you go. <laughs> Like, not, not damage to good players, and they haven't been, but then uh, as soon as the apple's gone, the good player gets hit. <laughs> Absolute classic. I think it was fair to apple the dirty player there, honestly, just for numbers, because the numbers were starting to go down. I think it was it was a completely fair decision, whether it was good or not. Yeah. Yeah. So can he just, can he... Yeah. I think you've got to power him. Do you have to power him? Yeah, well, do the power him. Yeah. But it's a better to score here. Because right, it's going to be really hard to stall the next turn, isn't it? So it might be better just to score here. And then at least you've got like the turnover chance. This is the, the Dio strats, right? Because you've got a, uh, yeah. Remember the jump up. Because <laughs> um, if you can't start out next turn, then he should have scored this turn, and that'd give him two turns to counter score. Like give the humans three turns, but give him two turns to counter score. But scoring on turn seven is worse than scoring on turn six, really. Of course, he might be able to get the turn. Uh, might be able to get the turn. Eight stall, but doesn't look very likely. This is looking real hard to stall. I think I'd rather he was one back. No, never. <laughs> and there you go, so there you go, the Dio... The Dio tactics coming into play there. I probably should have uh, gone in last turn. Um, to give himself the... Two turn counter score. I mean, obviously, it is easier to score a three turn than a two turn, but not much easier, right? So, I do think that would have been the play. Like, when you're scaven, for sure, right? These players, like, what if this, I mean, he's still got a chance on the blitz, but. Set up for the 2 1 grind now for Kill Bill. He does have a gut runner of his own. Just got to get him into a some kind of a pocket and uh, deliver the ball. And it's GG. I would definitely be uh, hitting this guy. He's an amazing gutter runner. <laughs> 
I know that you are you know, committing to a side, I think it's fine, right? It's got less players here, even though obviously the gutter can reposition easily. I really would like to tackle upon this guy. <laughs> I guess maybe the best way for scoring is just going straight through the centre and tackle pumping him. He hasn't got juggernauts. So. Oh, really quick snap. Looks like we've gone straight through the middle here. What is the fifth skill watching on an extremely shit internet? A leap on the capture. Guard, edge, block, sidestep, leap. And it has come into play. Not what I would have done. I don't know what I've done actually. To be fair, it might be what I've done. There's not a lot. Le there's not a lot left to pick. Is there after edge, guard, blood step? I mean, that's pretty amazing. Not piling on. The dauntless wrestler. Oh, these are sidestep. Hmm. So yeah, you'd have to power it. Ah, maybe it is better to just go through the middle then, yeah. Well, wow, what, what happened there? Was that quads? One in 81. Diced. So it didn't get the edge forward. Oof. You know, should he have moved the edge forward first? Was he going to pick it up and hand off directly? Probably. But in that case, can you move this guy first? Yeah, that should yeah it shouldn't have been hitting the block. It shouldn't have been a blockless block. It should not have been a blockless block. Hundred percent. Hundred percent should not have been a blockless block. Being made there. But uh, also, probably just shouldn't have made it right anyway. Before, I mean, if you're picking up and handing off this turn, just do that first. And if you're not picking up and handing off this turn, then get into scoring range first. So yeah, a bit of a bit of mispositioning and or ordering. With the three D on the dirty player. Again, I think I would have liked going for this card. Oh yeah, I like going for the guard. Mm. Founding a line rack. You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> you wouldn't foul a line rack. He's got plenty of reserves. The DP is AV6. Mm. That's interesting, AV6, and his DP, and... I don't know, man. I, just, I really wanted to go for the guard. I really want to go for the guard gutter before. There's a few times I've wanted to hit the guard gutter, so... I would have been really tempted. Now, three, six, eight players for the Skaven. Now there's plenty of time to tackle Pom Gutters and uh, make overtime favourable. Well, first of all, your chances of getting to overtime. <laughs> If you were pouring soup soup out with a ladle, 
and you spilled it on yourself. <laughs> Whilst you had a blanket wrapped around yourself, you could be laid or quit. <laughs> and then you'd be combining everything. <laughs> so yeah, keep keep it on the on the strength three sure hands here, right? That's obviously the play. As long as possible, keep it on the uh, thrower. If you have to hand it off, like obviously you want to keep the uh, catcher protected. Yep, finally pom the uh, finally pom the gutter. The lovely guard gutter gets pommed. A bagel quilt is probably something that literally exists right in America, so that you can <laughs> you can keep your bagels warm. <laughs> I am, I imagine a bagel quilt is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably bet money on it even. <laughs> this is a bit tricky, isn't it? This is a bit tricky. So yeah, just bucking the ball carrier. Interesting. And then clear the tackle plumber. Lovely. <laughs> oh! Blitzing the wrong one. Interesting. Oh! The right one to blitz because it's a cow. I guess this is the strip, so but no no no. Out of out of this this one. And then block that one as well, right? Just leave him there and block. So I kind of Ooh. Right. I mean I've been wanting to I've been wanting to attack this Garda for a while. But I feel like unassisted when you could be protecting the ball a bit <laughs> was not the time to do it. <laughs> I'd have definitely kept him around the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was. Mm, oh. Um, I think we might get a 1D on the ball. Go. Board town. Get the rest of it. Um, Exactly what you would expect. In the end. Oh, the tackle. Oh, the tackle does a thing. See, so, yeah, I quite like. I quite like blitzing the other guy. Different. It doesn't really make much difference, right? And, stuff. and I don't know that it was correct or anything. It's just what I would have done. Who can say what's good or bad? But yeah, I really hated that foul. <laughs> but then, like, if he doesn't foul, then I guess that guarder comes in and probably has a run of the ball anyway, right? So it doesn't make much difference. I would definitely like to protect him all that turn. Nice. Kaz. But all of the so the strip is gone, right? Because the cat, because the strip has been cast. There's an argument for picking up on the catcher now, because at least then it's one in thirty-six to put the ball on the ground instead of one in nine to put the ball on the ground. Argument for it, but I, I like this. <laughs> Ugh. Another one sent off. And now he could get a 2D on the ball, eh? If this guy can get there, it's a long way. He's a, he is a gutter runner. No, he can't get there. Outrageous. A gutter runner not being able to get to the ball. What? What? <laughs> yeah, rats are very thin on the ground. Loads of cows. 
the KO. <laughs> but the gutters aren't dead. <laughs> and they're the only ones that count. Yeah, make this 3D. Move the ball first. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Safe moves first. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Greed reroll. I, I, I knew Kill Bill would greed that. And it's not necessarily incorrect, is it? But the problem is, like, you're looking at... There's two ways of looking at it. First of all, you're looking at overtime at best. But second of all, it is a 3D pom, tackle pom, on a gutter that you really want to move. Like, it's how he can win. It's how he can get his one turn to win in normal time, and it's how he can win in overtime if he wins the toss. So... I probably wouldn't have... I probably wouldn't have re-rolled it, but it, it could well be correct to re-roll it. Could well be correct. Just hit him with palm. Gets the power. Um, you can, in your end. You can. I'll I'll link it after this, <laughs> unless someone else does. Someone might be able to link it, but uh, if they don't. Oh, another cars. To be fair, although, although the gutters haven't died, everything else has. <laughs> I'm not sure this was worth it. Just slide down. Instead of getting one tackle pong. Or I just run away far away from them as you can, like run them run them away from the tackle pong. Teams are mighty blow teams. <laughs> oh, interesting, I didn't know there was a spike link. Thank you, Dado. Six of with chores. Four. The funny thing is, if if Cruz had just uh, you know decided to play Nurgle, then Nurgle are probably on um, you know ten wins or whatever, right, and have won the most. And if he decided to play Chaos, then Chaos are on probably ten wins. And so it's funny if you take away Cruz's Chorf teams, Chorfs have got the same win rate as Chaos and Nurgle more or less. I do think that Chorf's the best still. But it's just funny like how much Cruz skews the data. <laughs> like he really skews it. There you go, 1-1. One, one. 
can the rats get their one turn? Do they have enough players to one turn? Because they don't have good gutters. <laughs> yeah, Kill Bill's complaint about not killing the gutters seems a little sounds a little bit greedy now, seeing as he's killed literally everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Four players, not quite enough for the one turn. <laughs> Enthusiastic blow, oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is uh... He's got sidestep right, but it's not, it's not possible, surely. And that, even then, look, that's how much Kill Bill respects the one turn. Puts on a stand firm and two sidesteppers. Flip me. Yeah, quick snap. Yeah, yeah that would have been the only chance, wouldn't it? Quick snap into sidestep. It was possible, but was it worth getting somebody cast? <laughs> oh. I I don't think I would have done, but then I'm not exactly a shining beacon of one turn defense <laughs> in chalice. <laughs> I would have been like, he hasn't got enough players. And then he'd roll the quick snap and I'd be like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, patting the stats, making it look good on, uh, making it look good on, uh, at the end of the match. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Oh wow, two KOs. If they win the toss. You do win the toss. Oh man. You're telling me there's a chance? Now they've got six players to one turn with. Four. Four, that's pretty rowdy. Four. Only ten men's. And you got to defend like a two turn as well as the one turn. Four. Whoa. I mean, you probably just go for the two turn, right? To be fair, I got three gutters and a lino. So you can punch him. Best to go the other side, right? He's on the wrong side here. Going to go here because guard stand firm is better than two useless skills because he's not going to get the punch before the game is over. So you want to go this side. Strength 4 blitz him unassisted, get the strength 4 out. Sideline cage. Yeah, this is a really good chance actually for this game. Uh, the problem with lizard men is they get beaten by the hyper. Like, Hype TV is dominated by Hyper Bash and Hyper Ball, right? The Claw Pum teams and the Stupid Elves. So, unfortunately, <laughs> Lizard Men get crushed by Claw Pum and crushed by Super Elves. <laughs> Catching the ball here is insane, isn't it? This is uh, oily easy. Should have done the block first. Like he's got real. Oh, that's a one in eight. He wanted to do one in thirty-six. He had to make the block first. Yeah, getting the full cage is really nice. But he he has gone down the wrong side, just quietly. This could have been on the other side, and then this stand firm guard would have not have had stand firm guard. He'd be useless. He'd be like a rookie blitzer. Right? But I guess now this would be the guard stand firm in better place. And maybe this was better. <laughs> maybe this was better from from the Pruha, right? Maybe this is actually better because now this is a rookie here, and then he's tagged out the stand firm guard. So maybe this was better. 
Mmm. Wow, Elite. How fucking dare you? <laughs> How fucking dare you? <laughs> you come in here. Oh, but the sun firm is doing something. You've got the fucking cheek to come in here and fucking bitch and cry and m whine like a little fucking baby. So yeah, we're gonna blitz with a wrestle, yeah. Gets the pow. Uh, oh, he's got stun for But So, what's this guy? Oof. Oof. It's hard, isn't it? He's strength 6, he's strength 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so he, he's 1, so he, they can both only 1D him. Yeah, he could have 1D this guy though, right, to make the dodge off the dodge. Gets the pow. And then you can hit him, 4, 6, yeah. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. No, he still had to he still he had to do he had to do the one D there. He had to one D and then get the two D. I think I think he did I think he did it exactly right. And then just uh just diced. Brutal. Nearly a heroic victory for the rats. Against all odds. But instead, pull the double one. <laughs> the ball goes. The ball gets caught by the lineup. <laughs> wow. No pylon, lovely. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I wonder if it was worth moving this guard here, right, and then GFIing there, so you'd have a guard in each corner. Probably not, because there's only this. What's this? Wrestle. It's just a wrestle gutter. There's no strip. If it was wrestle strip, it would probably be worth trying to get the extra guard on. Yeah, you've got a cage. They're scaven. Game and you got a cage. Because, like, he wasn't scoring in two. Like, if he'd started here, then you can potato, because then you're scoring in two, right? Was that a dead guy? Block leader. Yeah, that's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Cause like you're up players, right? So like you're not in a rush to score or anything. You can just take it easy and cage and play properly and make their chances as small as possible. I think. But yeah, if you'd been over the halfway line, then then by all means, potato away. But I think, potato like splitting your own team in half to get forward could get you in a lot of trouble. Like you know, skaven are faster than you, so the skaven could have like got around and put pressure on and stuff. So I think it was correct to to uh to cage. That's the thing, right? You know, if it, if it's potato one turn score the next, then fair enough, but the fact that it was gonna take multiple turns. I think age up, play super safe, was the right play. And now there's hardly anyone left. Got guard on every square that can make a blitz from. I think Mr. Page loves them more. 
Just because, you know, you, you, you see Mr. Page chuckling all the time when he's playing. You don't see Kill Bill's reactions. But Kill Bill, you know, he does like to, he does like to bang. But I've, I've seen him not pile more than I've seen Mr. Page not pile. And, yeah, there is the chuckling. There is the chuckling. I mean, it's necessity for chaos as well. If you want to play optimally. It's necessity for chaffs, isn't it? But the ch yeah, the chuckle. The chuckle is removes all doubt. <laughs> no one's happier when claw pumming than Mr. Page. We have we have video evidence of that. <laughs> Well, you know, don't say it's over, Eliod, but I can't see the Skaven getting this. Yeah, plus the dead, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you still gotta just blitz the ball, right? 3D uphill. You just gotta click. Click rat, click ball. Like it's stupid and you haven't really got a chance, but you've got to do it. Which he does, you know, fair play. Fair play. And now can totally wall it off, right? For seven players. Meet Cubit. Maybe there's a chance then. Maybe there's a chance for the gutter runner. Another hero player from the gutter runner. <laughs> nice formation, isn't it? So if he's not sent off, he can't go through. And if he uh, does get sent off, he'd have to dodge through the middle. Uh, there you go, makes another cast. So... <laughs> Fills up the Kaz box there. A kind of typical Kill Bill match. <laughs> yeah, I thought both both players played very well. There wasn't anything really. There wasn't anything like wrong, right? There was just things that were uh, not debatable. But I don't think there was anything you could really say that was wrong done by anyone. Really nice. And. Uh, for Leet's benefit. Fuck's sake, what a garbage match. That's the worst I've seen two people play Blood Bowl in my entire fucking life. There you go. <laughs> 37 AV bricks. <laughs> 37 AV bricks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 37. <laughs> and there was like the whole third half, right? There was the thir whole third half where the, the third half, the Kalon's, Kalon's third half. And uh, yeah, that is. Uh, no, no, they did two Kaz. They killed, killed his favorite player. But yeah, two Kaz. And then nine kills, eight Kaz. That's, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. But yeah, there were loads of fouls. Yeah, loads of fouls. And, 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 24 turns. So, yep, commiserations, Napruha, congratulations, Kill Bill, your very well played match. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.